Hey folks, we had a bit of trivia in the morning news show today. I figured it would be nice to have the official answer in video form. The question was regarding the circumgalactic medium, the CGM, the material we don't see well surrounding the galaxies outside of the visible star-speckled disk. The story was in fact a double whammy. It first dictated that the most common model, that the cold gas of the CGM was driven out there by supernova, cannot work. And that implies two things that there are larger inflow and outflow mechanisms at work, and they are magnetic, and also that this extra mass from the supernova must still be inside the galaxy. Those extra magnetic forces and mass inside help eliminate the need for dark matter everywhere. What we also know is that much of this material is fed into the system by the cosmic web. Veteran observers may recall it comes down in helical spiraling vortex currents of plasma, this is a key aspect of the plasma cosmology where no magic dark matter is needed, and where the connections to the larger structure meet the inflow and outflow at the galactic scale, as we saw today. But speaking of supernova not being able to push out that gas, this brings us to our trivia question. Why should they have already known that supernova material didn't make it out there? The hint I gave you was pinballs. Well, this brings us back to what may indeed be the science discovery of the year, this was the first model to actually put magnetic fields into the dynamics as opposed to ignoring them for simplicity, and they discovered that the dust of the supernova cannot escape. Numerous other models say otherwise while ignoring the magnetic fields, but this presents an enormous problem when you do model them. First, the cosmic rays of nova events can indeed go great distances, but the remnants of nova that we see are dust and gas. The gas may have a higher velocity sustained across the reverse shock plasma instabilities, but not by much. The remnants we see in space contain the majority of the material that was there to begin with, and it is not spewed forth out of the galaxy tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of light years away from the remnant. The reason why this may have been the most important story of the year is because earthbound isotopes dictate recent, nearby nova events. Recent as in way after the Earth formed, due to their short half-lives, and nearby because it would take too long for those dust particles to get across space. It would exhaust the half-life span as well. Now, if that dust can't escape to deliver some of those nova isotopes, and a nearby supernova would have destroyed the Earth, then the answer is a smaller recurrent nova from the Sun, the solar micronova. Solar max outburst cycle is almost up again. Learn more at the Cosmic Disaster videos. The link is right below the video and at our channel homepage. I'll see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe, everyone.